to welcome you back to the Randolph County. And soon. Beer Review. I'm Alan. I'm Caleb. And today we're doing one from the uh, Tarpons Beer Company out of Athens, Georgia. The Lua Crunkles. Sure. This is an IPA. It is a fruit flavored IPA. Mm -hmm. I picked this up at the store for around $2.50. And it's a 6.5 alcohol by volume. Has a 38 on the IB. It's going to have a little bit of bitterness to it. An untapped has it scored at a 3.74. Yep. It's supposed to be tropical flavors of passion fruit, orange, glava, which makes this Hawaiian IPA. I've never had an IPA. Right off the bat, the can, can is cool. Is cool. Can is cool. Makes you feel like you're in Hawaii. About to That's about as far as we're going to be able do to do the pool. No. Well, you got a grass skirt? Yep. I'll bring it out on special occasions. Well, hook us up for your house and set it down here. Well, but we're going to taste. I've never had one from this that I um, know of from yeah. this company. So this is new to me. So we're going to taste it and smell it, review it, talk about it. Right there is their address, right there. 265 Newton Bridge Road, Athens, Georgia. Well, let's see what she's about. I'm interested in this. It's probably, it's probably going to have like a orange looking dark mm -hmm. color. But watch it not be that. That's probably going to be dark. That's about what I color I thought it was going to be. Kind of an orange just looking. Kind of cloudy, got a little bitty bubbles floating to the top. Right off the bat, citrus smell, orange smell. Yeah, definitely I smelled it from the can. It's it actually smells that. good. If you yep. like if you like fruit, beers. Mm -hmm. Passion fruit, fruit, orange, glass. Passion fruit. I've never had, I don't think I've ever had anything with. If I had anything with passion, passion fruit, maybe had that sour, some of those, sour, uh, or some of those, uh, one of the margarita ones that we, one of the, uh, Cayman yeah, Jacks, I think yeah. may have had it. It smells delicious. Well, let's give it a shot here. Cheers. You know what? The only way we can figure if it's out any good, if it's just, just drink, it. drink it. Cheers at home. Like I said, $2.50 for this one can. Not very bitter. I mean, to be a 38 on the IBUs, I don't think it's that bitter. It's not real bitter. It's sweet. Full flavored. I mean, it does have that little bit of a kick on the end of it. It's got a little, it's got a little hoppy. hoppy twang to yeah, it. Yeah, but it's not as bad as what... Is it drinkable? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's... Would you want to drink that? I mean, if you, if you want something different, you like the fruit taste. You like an IPA. You like an IPA. Well, it does have that little bit of hoppy bitterness. Yeah. Well, it's good. I mean, I mean that's good. I mean, <laughs> if I'm going to rate that, I'm going to say it's a six and a half, seven. I would say seven is what I was going to give it. I mean, it's something I wouldn't want to drink a bunch of them because it's going to fill you up. Oh, yeah. But it's a very drinkable IPA. And coming from somebody that's not a huge IPA person. And if you look at the can, I mean, at the glass where I poured it, it's got a lot of resin in it where, where the uh, foam's kind of sticking to the glass. So that, that kind of tells you that it's a good beer. And Caleb, he's drinking it, so that means it te that tells you it's a good beer. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> so, I mean, I picked it, I mean. Where did you get that at? Just one little convenience store right, right, here, right here close to the town. Close to the house, yeah. I mean, it's it's good. Yeah, no, I like it. It's drinkable, you know. And I well, couldn't drink a bunch. Like, I couldn't drink that's, a bunch of them. Six point yeah. five. It does have some. It has a little bit of kick mm -hmm. to it. So it's got a little bit of alcohol. I definitely couldn't drink a whole bunch of them. Yeah, but you drink two. Of, you drink two of them, and then you're probably gonna get have a little bit of a buzz. Mm -hmm. off of it. But if you like our videos, hit the subscribe button. Hit the not notification. Yeah. If there's any more of the Tarpon Beer Company beers that you like. 
Let us know. Or any other IPAs that you like. Leave in the comments. Tell or us. Or any about beer. It. Yeah. Skater Boy. Tell us what you I know Skater Boy, you've had this before. Tell us about it. Tell us what you like. Yeah. You know, because it's good. Oh, by the way, Skater Boy. Skater, I picked up some Colt 45. Mm. I picked up the regular Colt 45 and I picked up the gravity. So that's coming up pretty quick. Pretty soon. But that's a good I mean yeah. it's a good beer. It's a good, I mean, but you're going to have to like the 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 fruit on it. And the, you have to like the little bit of the bitterness. If you like this, your watered-down bush light, bud light, bud light, you're not going to like that. No. no. But if you're trying to experiment, try something new. But if you're trying to, and you don't want to go to a completely IPA, that's, that's a good, yeah, that's, that's a kind good, of a good one to get, get yeah. you into an IPA. I ain't going to straight knock your socks off. No, no. Yeah. it's good. It's drinkable. Yep. But like I said, this is, I'm Alan. I'm Kevin. And this is a Randolph County. NC. How you say the word again? A Lua. Lua. Like a Luau. Crinkles from the Tarpon Beer Company. Until next time. Cheers. Cheers.